live right now? Oh. Hey, we're talking cider and food pairing today. Uh, today we went to our, one of our favorite local restaurants, uh, Saigon Sandwich, on 13th East near 86 South, and decided to, uh, to get some Vietnamese food to pair with these ciders from Colorado Cider Company. Um, the first cider is Grasshopper. It's six and a half percent, and it has Cascade and Crystal Hops in it, as well as Lemongrass. Uh, Cascade and Crystal Hops both bring sort of a citrusy uh, note to it, with Cascade being a little bit more floral and the Crystal being a little bit more piney, um, although I don't get a lot of the pine in the flavor. Uh, lemongrass, for anybody that doesn't know, brings a nice lemony flavor to it without the bitterness um, or tartness of uh, an actual lemon. So you get great lemon flavor without any of that, the, the, the pucker factor. And then the Radla over here is four and a quarter percent. So it's a sessionable cider with, it's cider with lemongrass and lemon balm. So uh, lemongrass we just talked about, lemon balm is gonna be similar. It's in the mint family. So it's almost like a lemony mint. Um, to me, the mint is very, very subtle, but it brings an earthy note uh, to the beverage that's really, really nice. So to pair these, we decided to go with the lemongrass beef bomb me sandwich, as well as the lemongrass tofu and shrimp. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. This seems pretty straightforward with pairing lemongrass and lemongrass with lemongrass. But that's just one of the C's, which is complement like pairing like with like and it can be that straightforward and that obvious as you know lemongrass with lemongrass um, there's also going to be a, a bit of contrast in here so you've got your four c's we'll back up a little bit you have complement which we talked about contrast which is going to be your sweet and salty which is kind of what I'm, I'm going for here with the sweetness of the ciders although these are both in the semi-dry realm uh, there is a sweetness there that's going to work with the saltiness of the food. Uh, you also have cut. We're not, I'm not employing that uh, in this particular pairing. Um, and then the fourth one would be complete. Uh, I don't really have a great example for complete off the top of my head. I wish I did, but we're going to bring it into one of the next videos and we'll try to work it in, uh, in how to complete uh, something. So let's see how things pair here. And move those out of the way. So we'll try the lemongrass beef first. It's like they were made to go together, really. And it's exactly what I was hoping for with the sweetness and the saltiness in the, in the sandwich. It's just, you get something that's greater than the sum of both parts. It, it's really kind of cool how the sweet and salty come together and really elevate each other without like clashing. There's also a bit of a, I don't want to say greasiness. That's not what it is. Um, but it's the only word that's coming to mind right now. So actually I am getting a little bit of cut from the acid in the cider, really helping break down those gre that grease in the beef and uh, help push through that and, and bring everything together. Mm. Now over here with the Bradla, again, the lemongrass, it's like they go together, but, and I think it might be the lemon balm that's really, it seems to be amplifying the spiciness of the sandwich. And in that bite, I happened to get a little bit more vegetable than beef, but it worked out really well because there's an earthiness to the radla with that lemon balm that just really worked well with the, uh, with the vegetables. Uh, the flavors are fantastic. They really marry well. I gotta say, if I have a favorite from the sandwich, it's gonna be the grasshopper. The, hop, uh, the, the hops and the lemongrass together, just it's a little bit more of a punch of flavor. Um, the flavor is great on this and the earthiness really does work well with the sandwich, but my favorite's gonna be the grasshopper for sure. 
Now, let's see how the tofu and shrimp work. It's been a little while since I used chopsticks, so I might be a little rusty, we'll see. I like the tofu with the grasshopper, but I'm thinking the grasshopper might be a little too bold for the tofu. Tofu can be one of those foods that, that kind of has a mildness to it almost, even when you do add flavor. So I want to see if it works a little bit better with the, the, little, the slightly more subtle flavors in the radla. Much more balanced with the radla and the tofu. Um, n neither one is overpowering the other. Uh, the lemongrass flavors and that citrusy flavor are really just coming together and, and, and marrying really well. I think with the rattle of the tofu in this is going to be the winner. Um, and we move to shrimp. And we move to more shrimp. There was not really a lot of lemongrass flavor on that last piece of shrimp, or the first piece. So we'll go for another try. Man, that's tough. It's really hard to say which way that goes. Um, I'm not sure the flavor, the shrimp's really getting the flavor a whole lot uh, from the lemongrass. So, so I think what I'm going to do here is get a piece of tofu and eat that with the shrimp, um, and see if I can get those flavors to kind of come together that way. I'm not trying to stab the tofu, I'm trying to pick it up. Bringing the shrimp into it, I could probably go both ways. Um, it's really hard to say which way which way is the better pairing. Uh, I like the radla. The radla is a good pairing to me with uh, the shrimp and the tofu. I think it, with the tofu by itself, I'm definitely leaning radla. With the shrimp added in, uh, the shrimp just adds another layer of flavor in there, and that's where I think the boldness of the the uh, grasshopper really starts kind of kind of coming into play now one of the nice things about this meal uh, well at least with the shrimp and tofu is this is a gluten-free option um, and we'll, we'll say that it's a compliment in this case uh, with gluten-free ciders so pairing gluten-free with gluten-free I don't know if you can taste gluten but you know we're gonna call it a compliment between the two and uh, and try to play it off as intentional. Uh, so I think I'm gonna finish with a little bit of egg roll. And the egg rolls are deep fried, so I know there's gonna be some oil and fat, in it, fat there, um, kind of an oiliness, and I wanna see if I can get the acidity uh, from the ciders to kind of cut through that. As soon as I got that cider in there, it broke down that oil and suddenly a bunch of different flavors came through. There was a saltiness to it. Um, I could start, I started tasting the herbs and spices that were in it. Whereas prior to put drinking the cider, um, I wasn't really getting that very strongly. Not quite as intense uh, of, you know, flavor amplification and cutting through with the radla, but there was a little bit there for sure. So I'm going to step away and finish this meal. Um, experiment. I'd love to hear what you're trying. Uh, find your favorite. Tell me what your favorite local restaurant is. Um, offer up some suggestions on what you think I should be pairing these ciders with. Um, I'll, you know, if, if, if there's a good suggestion, I'll get on camera with it and uh, I'll tell you what I think. Um, but in the end, it's really not, I mean, it's not up to what I think. Um, it's all up to you. You all have your own flavors, uh, your taste preferences, um, things that you prefer. Um, just be willing to get out there and, and try pairing things together. See what works, see what doesn't work. In this case, uh, I'm gonna say this was a swing and a hit. Um, the flavors, I mean, we had the ciders on hand, we went and picked up the food, 
and we decided to just kind of go with it and see see how it worked and in this case two thumbs up um, if you happen to be in the south end of the valley uh, Saigon sandwich I'm sure they would appreciate your business in this uh, this you know in these current times um, if you're looking for either of these ciders we're putting together an order right now for Colorado Cider Company so you could get in on uh, ordering a case of this case of either one um, with the grasshopper you can get the mixed bin which gets you three other ciders in that same case so you're not committing to like 24 cans of the same thing uh, the Radla you would be um, but you know if if you want to look at you know what the pricing is and all these things and how to order it uh, you can reach out to me through our website ibanticbev.com i-b-a-n-t-i-k-b-e-v.com um, and uh, like I said we have an order in the process right now so we're hoping to get that out soon and and get it into the state uh, and then you can do this on your own you can grab the you know get your ciders maybe you get a bunch with your friends and you get a bunch of different food from you know uh, whether it's Saigon sandwich or somewhere else um, get a bunch of food together and, and have your own little experiment with what pairs well together and what doesn't but if you're with your friends socially distance that's that's the key um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna step out and, and enjoy the rest of this uh, this delicious meal and this delicious pairing, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks a lot.